Is your beard growing in unevenly? Don't worry guys, I'm going to have the causes of that problem and even possibly some solutions for you guys. And I want to give a special shout out to all my loyal subscribers. I don't do this often enough. I just want to say thank you guys for watching videos. Even if this isn't a problem you have or even on videos where you already know the answer, you like to support the channel and I really appreciate that. And to anybody new out there, maybe you searched for this problem on Google or YouTube and you found your way to the channel, welcome. I hope you guys consider subscribing if you like learning about beards and ingredients of our beard products and all that type of stuff or maybe you're just feeling the positive vibes. If you enjoy the video, consider hitting the thumbs up and even leaving a comment down below to interact with us. And I am Dan C. Bearded. Those subscribers I mentioned a little bit ago, they call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related. I'm a family man. I'm big on community. I'm big on positivity and making things happen as you'll check out in this intro right here. The first cause and unfortunately the most likely cause of your beard growing unevenly, I feel like we start with this for every problem that's out there but it's usually true, and that's DNA and genetics. There is something natural that could be explaining your uneven beard growth and after this one I'm going to break down some outside effects that could be happening because of you and you could change those. But this one you're not going to change. Essentially what happens for most people is your hair. All of your hair grows in a pattern. And that pattern usually happens by starting on one side, wrapping around your head hair, coming down your facial hair, and then back again to where it started. When that happens, you're going to, in that pattern at different times of your life, have longer hair on one side than the other. If your beard hair is getting that pattern of growth on this side, but it has not gone under and reached the other side, you're going to see more growth over there. I learned this from a professional master barber in Detroit. He told me all about it. I looked into it and I thought it was really interesting and it happens to be true there. So the number one cause of uneven beard growth is just simply having that DNA or genetics of the pattern of growing. The way to solve that is make sure you get frequent trims to line it up evenly because nothing else is going to happen for that specific problem. The second most likely cause is sleeping on one side more so than the other. Now we are creatures of habits. A lot of people like to have habits, like to have a routine when they go to bed and that makes us calmer and helps us sleep. And one of those habits is sleeping the same way or the majority of the time. Well, our hair grows because of blood vessels bringing blood to the surface and promoting that growth. When you are sleeping on one side over and over again, you are going to be constricting or compressing those blood vessels and you're not going to get as much growth on that side of your beard or head hair as the other side. Now if you're thinking about your day and let's say 8 out of the 24 hours you're getting more growth on one side than the other, that is going to add up over the years and even in a short amount of time you may start to see a little difference there. So if you are someone that is experiencing uneven growth and you are someone that sleeps on the same side every day, especially if it's on your stomach, right? If it's on your stomach, you're going to be facing down on one side or the other, putting a lot of pressure. Consider trying a different way to sleep or even just facing the other side and rotating by night. If you do that, it should even out the growth. So switch up your sleeping habits. Another possible cause for uneven beard growth or perceived uneven beard growth would be your habits of grooming. We are again creatures of habits. Most people have a set way that they groom in the morning and if you are starting on the same side with combing and blow drying every day, using the same hand for your blow dryer and your comb every day, you're going to develop habits that could be impacting the way your beard looks or the way your beard grows. So for example, I use the blow dryer in my off hand with my left hand and I use my oxhorn comb on my dominant hand. When I do that, my blow dryer is already close to my left side, so I start by combing over here kind of across my body and then I work my way back. Statistics show that people will spend more time on the first side of their face or head hair that they're combing than the other side. Wherever you start with, you're giving more attention to the other side. 
So what can happen there is as you're giving more attention or as it changes, right? When I switch over here and I still try to hold my left hand with the blow dryer and I'm changing the angle in which I'm combing, I noticed that it was different and my beard was looking uneven. Well, it wasn't because of any growth difference. It was because of the pattern I was developing by the way I was combing and blow drying. Once I figured that out, I switch it up, I change hands, I make it look different every other day or so, it really fixed that perceived growth. Now, with your grooming habits, there can be actual uneven growth that is happening because of the time and the way you're spending attention on one side or the other. If you're on one side spending really good attention and you're getting that blood flow and those uh, vessels flowing near the skin, you may be promoting more growth on that side than your other side. Just something to think about there, or maybe you're over aggressive on one side and you're damaging those blood vessels and the root, the strands of the hair, and that is affecting the growth. Just think about the way you are approaching your grooming habits every day, and my advice is diversify. Switch it up, change the direction, change the hand you're using, really keep that skin and beard guessing. Beard habits can be a bad thing, especially for uneven growth. Another cause is something that we all know is bad and you should not do with your beard, but you may wonder why it would cause uneven growth, and that is picking, twisting, or really aggressively playing with your beard. Some people have nervous habits where they're just simply, they like to pull the hairs out, they like to tug on them, they like to twist them together, and that's not good for your beard. Common sense would tell us that. But why would it affect one side over the other? You're likely doing this with your dominant hand. I'm right-handed. I don't have this issue, but if I did, I would likely be picking at the side that was closest to my right hand. Why? Because it's easier and it's less noticeable. If you're going to the other side, you gotta turn your head over, you gotta make that move happen. You're likely picking in the front or to your dominant side, and that can absolutely cause uneven beard growth. So if you've searched for this video and you know one side is off compared to the other, is your dominant side shorter? Are you picking your beard? There's your answer. Knock it off, <laughs> break that nervous habit, replace it with something else, whether it's gum, whether it's something healthy, rather than picking at that beautiful beard of yours. The last cause was the most interesting one to me because I had never thought about it until I dug in the research. And I'll put some sources down below of citations of articles and studies that I've read and really went through. And that is uh, thinking about the amount of light that is getting exposed to one side of your beard as compared to the other. Now you may be like, why? How would that happen? Light? Think about it. Do you have a long car ride in the morning to go to work? I'm talking about two, three hours. If you're doing that, the sun is likely coming in at one side or the other, unless you're driving straight into the sun or straight against it, one side of your beard every single morning of your working career is taking direct sunlight through that window when your other side is not getting that. At work, do you have a beautiful window view and you're facing your computer screen with the window next to you and that sun is hitting your beard on one side and not the other? Another thing to consider there. I really never thought about that, but if you read the articles, they go into detail about how those UV rays can really damage the growth of your beard. And it will be something that will be noticeable over the years. So if you are someone that is in a car ride or at a workstation, maybe you guys can think of another situation where that sun is hitting you on a repeated basis on one side and not the other. Find a way to be able to either protect that UV ray sh shining on your beard or find a way to switch it so you're rotating between the two because that is something that absolutely can make your beard grow unevenly. Think about the sun dominating one side of your beard as compared to the other. Conclusion or final thoughts on uneven beard growth. And I do wanna make this clear, I am talking about uneven growth of your beard from one side compared to the other. I'm not talking about an uneven beard. Why? Because that's a lot more common from bad trims and things like that, styling issues. We're talking about the actual growth rate being different on one side compared to the other. So question, discussion to leave you guys with, have you ever experienced uneven beard growth? Did you figure out why and solve it back then? 
Or is there something that was brought to light, no pun intended, uh, with these causes and solutions in the video today? I want to hear what you guys think about this, your take, your experiences, your feedback, everything, because it is a very common question that I've been asked, and I really enjoyed doing the research on this one and learning some new things for myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit. Maybe I helped you out. That would be phenomenal. I appreciate anybody sharing this video, and as always, subscribing and supporting the channel. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Please stay bearded, even or uneven, and always stay positive.